Good Friday morning, Mount Olive family, friends of Mount Olive, all you that have taken the time to tune in and watch this uh, devotion. Uh, you know, not just my devotion, but all the devotion that the guys do. We, uh, uh, as I say, we appreciate the kind words that you tell us when, when we see you uh, about what these do mean to you. So let me share my screen with you hopefully here. Okay, so uh, Pastor TJ, he finished his series on the book of Job this past Sunday, and he titled the message, Don't Stop, and uh, he uh, said, he had the, the statement, Job is steadfast because he trusted in a God that was in control and good. So let's look, review some of the scriptures that he used in his message. So the first ones were in Job 42, 5 and 6, it says, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now mine eye seeth thee. Wherefore I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. To use verse uh, 10, it says, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. In verse 11 says, Then came uh, there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that uh, had, before, had been of his acquaintance before. And did eat bread with him in his house, and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Every man also gave him a piece of money, and every one an earring of gold. You know, Job talks about one of the other cha cha chapters that, you know, that he, even his family, his brothers and his sisters, all those that were acquainted with him had left. You know, had, they just didn't have one, have anything to do with him. I was going through all this. But, you know, after this, you know, they, they came back and, and they, you know, rewarded him. Uh, you know, they said they gave him some money and they want ear, earring of gold, which was a custom, uh, as Pastor TJ said, on the, in, the middle, in the Middle East. Verse 12, it says, Oh, the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning, for he had 14,000 uh, sheep and 6,000 camels and a 1,000 yoke of oxen and a 1,000 she asses. So he doubled his uh, his holdings there. And verse 13 says, and he had seven sons and three daughters. And after this lived Job 140 years and he uh, and saw his sons and his son's sons, even four generations. So, so Job died being old and full of days. And then he used James 5.1. It says, behold, we count them happy which endure, you have heard the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of a tender mercy. Now, Pastor TJ, he started his message with three things about Job. Let's look at each one of those and see how they apply to our lives. And, you know, Job had previously, he got to the point in his life and when and this ordeal that he begins to question why he's going through all of this and where is God when he needs him? Let's go back to chapter 23 and verse 3 and 4 says, Oh, that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his seat. I would order my cause before him and fill my, my mouth with arguments. So Job's saying, you know, if I knew where God was, I'd, I'd go ask him. I want to know why, why all this has happened. But, you know, if we the first thing that he, uh, pastor said, was that he confessed. That was in verse 5. And verse 5 says, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now mine eye seeth thee. So after God answers Job uh, in chapters 38 through 41, get uh, a chance to go back and read those. That's Those are good, great chapters. Job has to confess that God has not been absent and not been attentive to, uh, attentive to his prayers because he had heard God. He was heard by God in his uh, with his own ears, and he is now he's He's even experienced God. God has come to him and has has been and, and spoke to him. Uh, many times, you know, when we go through different trials, we seem like we are all alone and God is far from us uh, and nowhere to be found. But as I, uh, as I and others have said in the devotions uh, in the past, that God is always there and that he will never leave us or forsake us. So like Job, we need to confess that we were wrong in our thoughts and perceptions of God. We confess as we see we were wrong. Uh, the second point that he made, he says he repents in verse 6. And he said repentance is the key. So wherefore I, I bore myself and repent in dust and ashes. 
Now, no, it's not in line to word abhor. abhor. Uh, we haven't had a, a, a Hebrew uh, word study in quite a while. So here the word ab, uh, ab, abhor in Hebrew means to reject or to retract. So Job is saying he rejects, he retracts all the things that he has said and even thought about this situation. He is repenting of these things to go to get back in a right relationship with God. Now, just like Job, uh, sometimes we need to repent of the things that we might have done that got us in the mess we're in or just or just came out of. Like Job, we must see our errors, our mistakes, and our sins and repent to get ourselves back uh, with, in that right relationship with God. As Pastor said, repentance is the key. Uh, and number three, he said he prays for his friends, verse 10. That's uh, he uh, talked about that as suffering. He said, praying for others is a key. Verse 10 said, the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Now, Job, he does the right thing by praying for uh, his three friends, even though, uh, you know, uh, their comfort was short lived and they made uh, many false accusations about him and his character. He still prayed for them when, you know, the Lord pronounced judgment uh, on them for doing what they did. And they were spared after they did what God told them to do. But, you know, like like Job, we need to pray for those who may uh, come against us or hurt us or uh, use us to gain something. This is this is how that we show that we are truly uh, children of God. So, you know, don't stop. Be an example for others to follow. You know, Matthew uh, uh, 544 says, but I say to you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. So, you know, Jesus is even telling us that, you know, we should, you know, pray for others. Pray for those who, you know, uh, have even come against you. You know, if you're going through something and, and things have been said that shouldn't have been said, you know, pray for them. You know, and that's that's not only that's not only um, uh, uh, something that Job did, but something that Jesus tells us to do. So, you know, we need to remember that as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this study of the book of Job. I know it's a, it's, it's a long book, but it's a, a very uh, a good book, you know, for those of us who've been going through trials and tribulations that shows, as uh, it says in James, the patience of Job, that, you know, God was there. He's there all the time. He never uh, and I've said this before uh, that, you know, he never lets anything come to come to us that's not sifted through his hands. Uh, you know, I've said that and, and I hope you you understand God is always there. He's always there for us, no matter what the situation may be. That's my Friday devotion. And I hope to see you Sunday. Continue to pray for uh, Teresa. She's uh, getting a little better. She's up and, and getting around more. Uh, so uh, continue to pray for her. Uh, hopefully, you know, if she gets uh, uh, well enough that uh, she'll get to come to church on Sunday. We uh, we love you and appreciate you. We will, uh, you pray for us and we'll continue to pray for you.